now after you can see doing all the topics that we had done earlier so one important thing that i would like to announce to you all is that as you have done the last chapter that is the beggar now uh, i'm giving you today's time and by tomorrow because already two days have been passed since the completion of this chapter what you have to do you have to send me your notebooks okay send me your notebooks for checking okay and uh, don't forget to send and don't be late in sending now because as the exams they are approaching so you need to get it checked for the final checking also and moreover your notebooks will all be sent for further checking right so for this reason what you have to do you have to send me your notebooks okay so at once send your complete notebook so that i can have a, i can have an idea whether you have completed all the topics or not and another important thing that i want to remind you is that don't forget to write down the write down index make proper index right with the date as well as the other four you can say columns okay that is uh, assignment completion okay any follow up or like that right and after that what you have to do you have to uh, you can say uh, submit the notebook well in time and moreover all the writing skills which we have done okay paragraph writing okay stories we have done 2 2 3 these must also be written in your notebook so don't forget to write down these stories as well okay so this is again very important for you people now uh, we are going to start with the revision of this poem no men are foreign and now for that let me share with you the poem first of all no men are foreign so no men are foreign as you know that already already we have done this poem okay and as you can say the first you can say activity that was also given to you it was of course based on this you can say topic only that is on the theme or on the central idea of this poem that we human beings they are creating boundaries human beings they are separating their countries but is this uh, is this necessary or is there any you can say if is there in any effective use of all this no there is not at all and there is no effective use of it okay so why there is not any effective use of it because ultimately this complete earth it is one unit we are taking it as separate we are thinking that we are separate from other countries we are trying to demarcate ourselves from other countries but what is the fun of demarcation or demarcation what is the fun of demarcating what is the fun of creating these kind of boundaries it is of course of no use why no use because ultimately even nature is not discriminating us nature is of course not discriminating us on the basis of separation of boundaries we people have created boundaries for our use only we are we are trying to separate ourselves in the name of religion we are trying to separate ourselves in the name of nation in the name of country but what actually is nature is not at all discriminating in providing resources for example the uh, the basic resources of nature for example sun sunlight air water can we separate air of india from that of other countries can we separate water of our country from other countries and you know that even uh, even the rivers they flow into oceans and these oceans they are not limited to only one country they are of course part of other countries also and the rivers of other countries also they are falling into the oceans so it is only human nature that we are trying to separate ourselves from others it is not actually like that i can say in this poem only that the poet is trying to uh, bring out this fact and bringing out this idea of universal brotherhood but in other you can say but in other many poems also right the poet the people are always trying to teach mankind one single lesson of universal brotherhood what kind of lesson of universal brotherhood that we of course all are same we are not separate from each other we are trying to be separate but there is no need to get separated from each other 
we need to keep ourselves you can say self satisfied we need to keep ourselves understandable of the situation that that we must think the idea of you can say of universal brotherhood this is the reason why this idea of globalization has come into be because ultimately when we are trying to separate ourselves in the name of territories in the name of boundaries then what we are doing when we are trying to separate ourselves we are trying to encroach and we are trying to you can say harm the harm other countries harm other people but then what happened as this concept of oneness is being delivered it means harm to even one part or one portion or one part of the earth it is of course affecting the other parts of the world also so it means that although we are trying to separate ourselves we are trying to demarcate ourselves from others there is no use of this at all no use of this at all why there is no use of this at all it is because of this reason we are earthians we are part of this earth we should not consider this earth as a separate unit rather what should we do we should consider it as a single unit we must consider it that this complete earth is a living place okay and we should not separate it from you can say other countries okay it is because of this reason that we need to protect the resources of our country as well as that of other countries also otherwise if we are doing this then ultimately we are harming ourselves though we are not doing it deliberately but most of the times it is being of course done in a deliberate way okay deliberately we are uh, we are harming our atmosphere we are harming the you can say um, the resources of nature but ultimately what it effect or what effect does it have on our lives the it is crystal clear that it is harming us directly and indirectly the direct ways we understand but indirect ways though we are not trying to understand but of course they are affecting us and ourselves only right so as this poem it is bringing out the idea that we we must follow the policy of universal brotherhood that we have a common earth only and we should not support narrow mindedness what kind of narrow mindedness that narrow mindedness of being separate from others okay of being different from others of being you can say filled with pride and prejudices this should not be supported and moreover we should never support wars as wars they are good for nothing they are not at all causing any good to human beings okay what they are causing they are ultimately causing harm to us only okay it is of course harm to our present generation also and moreover of course it is harm to our future generations also and it is just because of this reason it is only wise to be friendly with others to live in harmony with others to live at complete peace with others we should not try to harm the you can say rules of and the uh, you can say the rights of other people just in the name of you can say dedication towards our own country we fight why soldiers they fight they fight just for their help uh, on that day also when i uh, taught this poem you for the first time i asked you also the same thing that when two soldiers are fighting with each other are they knowing each other no simple answer is no they don't know each other do they have any personal you can say enmity with each other no then why they are fighting they are fighting for their own country for the love of their own country in order to you can say in order to uh, protect their own country but ultimately what is happening the result is same on both the sides of enemies if death and destruction is there on one side the same kind of death and destruction is on the other side of the earth also on the uh, on the other side of the boundary both are suffering because of this kind of enmity both are finally you can say facing problem because of this and this is what we are going to read in this poem okay so no men are foreign yes one more concept that has been put forward in this you can say 
poem is that that we consider the people of the other countries as strange we think that people of the other countries they are quite strange they are different from others but no they are not at all different they share the same physiognomy like we have our five fingers for a hand two eyes one nose one mouth similarly they also have the same thing then how we are different from each other we are not at all different it is only in our brains that we have created the difference and ultimately every time we are creating the difference nature is of course telling us ironically it is telling us that what you are doing is ultimately of no use why because nature has made all of us together one we all are same and ultimately it is because of this reason we must follow the policy of universal brotherhood this is what is being explained in this point that no men are foreign okay so now you have also come to know that why the name of this poem is no men are foreign no men means no men means men is of course a plural okay and no no men means no men means it is referring to all the men of this entire earth including men women men here is referring to human race mankind and they are not at all foreign means we are not you can say strange to ourselves we are not actually strangers we know each other very well but despite that we are knowing each other still we are creating many differences we are creating differences in the name of religion we are creating difference in the name of languages but what is the fun of doing all this there is no use of making this kind these kind of differences so now coming to the explanation of the poem first of all let me know that the basic idea of the poem is clear to you all is the basic idea of the poem clear just put your thumbs up or tell me yes fine okay so now let us start with the poem remember remember no men are strange and no country is foreign now the poet james kickup he is giving us a lesson he is giving us a piece of advice that we should not consider the human race or the people or the mankind of this earth as strange we should never consider them as strange because we are not separate from each other we are of course one okay we we don't belong to countries which are foreign to each other although though we have separated them with boundaries with territories in the name of areas and we have you can say we have also fixed our areas but this does not mean that we are strange because beneath all uniforms a single body breathes so what is the meaning of this beneath all uniform a single body breathes who will explain what is the meaning of beneath all uniforms a single body breathes apart from diya panika arshpreet and all who will speak meher can you speak meher will you be able to speak or not or pragun can you people will be able to speak finally those three students again and again those who are giving the answers yes shamni yes shamni you can speak. yes ma'am hmm. the given line of figure of speech says that beneath all uniforms a single body breathes this hmm. line means that everyone is alike from the inside hmm. that people may wear different clothes and even all different uniforms but the humans underneath them are the same that there is no discrimination ah okay so here yes absolutely right what you have said ramni that beneath all uniforms that the soldiers of all the different countries they are wearing different type of uniforms they are wearing different type of clothes but actually what is there under these clothes we are trying to separate ourselves what is the fun what or what is the reason of wearing a uniform to separate ourselves to separate our identity from those of others but this is only outward appearance which we are trying to hide which we are trying to separate us from others but actually what is the thing 
but actually the thing is that from inside we all are same okay we have the same body all the soldiers if they are wearing or if we are wearing uniforms under side those uniforms are under these uniforms our body structure is same we have sameness in our build okay in our build means in our make we are all together same we are not at all different from each other so this is the reason why the poet is saying that beneath all uniforms single body reads and hence here the uniforms they are playing an ironical role so now the question is how uniforms they are playing an ironical role ironical role means what is said is altogether different from what at what actually is so see here we are trying to separate ourselves from others we are trying to make ourselves different from others but in this you can say but in this effort of making ourselves separate from others are we successful no we are not at all successful why we are not successful because ultimately this uniform which we are trying to separate ourselves from others is ultimately you can say is it is ultimately making ourselves same if we look the body structure under those uniform which is one of the same kind so uniforms are of course ironical in nature so the poet has also explained that beneath all uniform single body breeds means under these uniform all the people they have same type of body which breathe means which is following the same type of life processes like ours like ours means like we do like we breathe similarly they have the same process of breathing and how they get this kind of you can say they they continue that this process of respiration the land our brothers walk upon is earth like this so land like our brothers so our brothers here refers to people of other countries and people of our country so what our sorry here it only refers to people of our country our brothers means the people of our country the type of land we walk upon is of course called as earth and it is no doubt not separate from us of other countries also and in which we all shall lie so very deep line here it is in which we all shall lie so the poet is saying that after our you can say death what will happen we all will be buried into this earth maybe the practices differ with different countries some people they bury their dead some people they burn their dead bodies but ultimately what is the ultimate end of mankind of the life of a man the ultimate end is finally emergence from earth and finally your submergence or you will be submerged in the earth only from where you have taken birth you will be a part of that thing only okay as human beings they have taken their birth and ultimately they will be part of that earth only so in the very first paragraph the poet has given us a very deep and effective lesson that we are not at all different from each other we are trying ourselves to demarcate ourselves but nature it is always reminding us one fact that we are not separate from each other it is only the futility of a mind and it is only the futile effort that we are doing to separate ourselves but ultimately what is there we are of course same we are not separate from each other we are a part of this earth we have emerged from it and ultimately we will also be a part of that earth only so i hope that first para is clear to you if you have any doubt you can raise up your hands any doubt to any student if you have you just raise up your hands fine okay so now next one is they too they too aware of sun air and water yes they too means they too are using the bounties of nature the resources of nature which nature has never discriminated to give to the other part of the world if if air water and sun are free resources of nature then it is of course free for other parts of the world nature is not at all discriminating 
human beings in providing its you can say bounties and are fed by peaceful harvest so here peaceful harvest as it is an example of transferred epithet so who will tell me what is transferred epithet what is transferred epithet we have done earlier can you tell transferred epithet what is transferred epithet no so transferred epithet is an adjective transferred epithet so here it is an adjective used with the noun okay adjective is used with the noun but this adjective with with which noun it is used it is not pertaining to that noun but its role is transferred for example here it is peaceful harvest here peaceful harvest it is not only the crop that we reap but this peaceful adjective it is relating to the life of the people okay that they live it means that are fed by peaceful harvest this line it is having a very deep meaning that the life of the people they are or people enjoy the best of their life when they enjoy they uh, reap good harvest they reap good crops they reap rich harvest when peace prevails in the country and peace and uh, peace and order prevails in their living place so ultimately what it means that the life is full of peace happiness harmony they are enjoying each and everything they are enjoying all the facilities of nature also and by wars long winter starved again winter starved is an example of what this is of course an example of transferred epithet okay yes ramni what you want to speak okay fine right so it is long winter star it means that winter star what are the effects of war death destruction loss of life loss of property loss of resources and ultimately shortage of food and food water and everything else and it is this reason winter star means it is compared this you can say the effects of war they are compared to that of winter okay like in winter because everything is covered with snow and frost there is shortage of each and everything there is shortage of food people are not getting ample food they have to store their food in bulk in order to survive the you can say survive during this winter season so similarly during war also the people are not enjoying happiness and the effects of this kind of winter it is long lasting and it is not in case of our countries but this is of course the result in all the countries that the effects of war they remain for long period of time in all the countries and a labor not different from our own and sorry their hands are ours their hands are similar like that of ours no difference and in their lines we read and in their lines means if the lines means that is the same same kind of phenomena of life is also undergoing in their countries that they are also doing labor like we people are doing we are not at all different from each other we are of course same we are definitely same we should not consider that if we have reached to a certain level of you can say accomplishment it is just because of our hard work and the stern efforts that we have put on it is of course because of the same type of labor they have put in and it is just because of this reason that they have reached at that place so this is what this in these first two paragraphs the poet is explaining us the things or the reasons that why we are same okay so you should carefully know that why we are same that first of all that under all uniforms there is same type of body that breathes and the same type of land they walk upon as people of our country and and we shall be a part of this earth also one day right and similarly like we enjoy the resources of nature these people are also enjoy the same type of conditions prevail before and after war before war everything is at peace harmony 
but after war the effects are so long disastrous destructive that people lives they are compared to that of winters and if we have done hard work and labor in the same manner those people are also doing their hard work and labor in order to get the desired results okay so these two paragraphs we have done today and now after that tomorrow we will continue with the same point